Yeah, well, students, today we discuss about uh, uh, natural realms of the earth. So, usually we discuss about four uh, natural realms. One, lithosphere. Two, hydrosphere and atmosphere. And we have biosphere. In lithosphere, litho is in Greek, is nothing but the stone or rock we usually call. So, it's mainly composed of a rocky material on the earth crust and mineral groups which we have and thick layer of soil. So usually if we discuss like we have high mountain, mountain uh, crust and also in the crust you will find the plains and sometimes you have plateaus and also you have deep valleys and we usually see some huge very deep basins so this mountainous i just write down for you mountains we have plains and we have plateaus and we have you now valleys and deep basins. So, lithosphere mainly composed of these uh, features. And as we all know, valleys where uh, rivers flow along the paths are nothing but the valleys. And the basins, the huge basins are nothing but the oceans now, what is filled in that. So, this is about the lithosphere. And more often, all uh, these uh, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere are interrelated and highly influenced by each other. So everything is depending on, you know, for example, lithosphere we have also discussed about the dust. So dust usually mingled with the air, which is again with the atmosphere's uh, mainly part. So we have uh, these four spheres like uh, you know lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere biosphere are interrelated and influenced each other this is a very important point and when we discuss about the hydrosphere hydro in greek is nothing but water so it's nothing but water world so where do you find the water usually we find water in rivers in the oceans and streams and also the interesting part, you will find water underneath the earth's crust, which is nothing but your groundwater. So groundwater also is, is nothing but your hydrosphere's uh, part. Usually you find underneath the rock material, a lithosphere. As I told you, it's interrelated. So, and now did we discuss about the atmosphere. Atmosphere is atmos, is nothing but a vapor. Vapor is water vapor and also any gas for example your nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide so all these gases you will find in the atmosphere mingled with again the dust so which is very important for our life so when we discuss about the biosphere bio is nothing but life so usually you find life on the earth's crust and just because we depend on this land, water and air. So it's again, we as a biosphere, so all living organisms, including microorganisms, you have a biosphere. So we discuss about uh, these uh, realms in the next uh, classes. Yeah, hi students. Uh, so today we discuss uh, about a lithosphere so under the lithosphere, so we have major uh, part is landforms. Usually we have uh, two uh, and more uh, landforms. First we discuss about the primary landform. Primary landform is nothing but water and land you find on the earth's crust. So there is nothing but primary or first order landforms composed of continents and ocean is nothing but land and water is the primary landforms we have or also you can call it as a first order landforms 
and we have a second order this is the first order landforms and we have second order landforms on the surface of the crust nothing but continents you will find a, a typical features like high mountains and also you have lowland plains and you have uh, plateaus and valleys and you know basins the low uh, very deep basins so these are features you will usually find on the earth's crust so these features like as i told you mountains low land plains plateaus are composed of your second order landforms second order landforms and if we discuss about the uh, you know or the continents so usually we come across uh, plates so we'll take a jigsaw model or jigsaw puzzle so he imagines that these lands are like you know uh, pieces of uh, 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 his puzzle jigsaw puzzle where they move and they come to the position sometimes in a different positions but it takes over millions millions of years of time it's not like one or two days or one or two years or something it takes millions billions of years to move along so we usually discuss on the topic of jigsaw puzzle yeah now uh, we just uh, see about the uh, jigsaw puzzle and moving plates as we discussed so continents or mainly and also oceans are laying on the earth's crust on six major plates and some other minor plates so usually so jigsaw puzzle uh, says that uh, continents like a piece of uh, land looks like you know pieces and uh, they come across so as we discuss so usually we have the land in the one major land some thousands billions of years called pangaea and you have all oceans in one form one ocean only one land one water body so called pantalas and the pangaea is the land the only whole land only one land so later due to drifting a lot of other uh, geological activities it drifted and became a pieces of land and now you see the same pieces like you know lying here and there 